Ahoy! So, the entire point to this video is, it's video just to bitch about GameStop. Everybody's bitched about GameStop at least once or twice. So, now it's my turn. Except for I'm going to do it publicly on YouTube. So, here we go. First of all, I really, really can't fucking stand this bullshit. Right here. See that? Stickers. So, it may not seem like a big deal to most people. You know, there's one or two stickers. Big one. And technically, yeah. Most of the time, you can just take them and you can peel them off. Okay. Little bit of fuss. Not so bad. Just a little bit remaining there. But it's the price tag stickers. Those are the killer right there. Already fucked up. You have to have... Fuck it. <laughs> you have to have the utmost patience with these stupid fucking things. They come off, they rip, they're there, they're annoying. There's ones on the back. Because having one on the front isn't enough. You have to have one on the back. But... Then, if they're ever repricing a brand new game after it's been out for a couple months, then they put a sticker on top of the sticker, on top of that other sticker, and it just becomes real crazy, especially after it exchanges hands a couple times. So then you come across scenarios like this. Here goes Condemned 2, Bloodshot. Now, here's a case for it. There's a sticker tried to rip off, there goes the other sticker on the back. But here's the annoying part. On the fucking insert. Why? Is it really that necessary? I mean, you already have a sticker on the front of it. Sure, it's a lot easier to be able to just walk up whenever they're just sitting there completely like this and look, oh wow, it's only $17.99. But whenever you see the game, you're automatically going to pick it up, so we're going to see the fucking sticker anyway. I don't think too many people are that goddamn lazy that they'll take something and won't be able to turn it. Because picking off the shelf is really so fucking hard. <laughs> but this is where it gets more aggravating. See, not only do they have a sticker on the art insert, they have two. I actually like taking really good care of my games. I have a whole bunch of them. That's a whole bunch of games. So, you have to take this out and peel away at it. And 90% of the time, they become all dented up and fucked up looking because of it. Which is extremely aggravating to me. I'm picky. I don't know if any of you really give a shit. You probably don't. But it bugs me. And it bugs a couple other people I know, too. But... Sometimes I get the sticker completely off the art with absolutely no problem. And that's awesome. I'm always real thankful for it. Like, yeah, I seriously accomplished something today besides just wasting a bunch of money on a game. But then we have scenarios like this. This here is Futurama for the PS2. This wasn't cheap. It was $45 used. For a PS2 game, that's a whole bunch. It was a bitch to find, so that's why I ended up coughing up the cash for it. But then it had stickers all over it, like they always do. Now, it wasn't so bad until they had one that was on the spine. And here's what happened. It actually ripped the fucking picture off. Whenever you spend $45 on a used PS2 game, and this kind of stuff happens, what are you going to do? Take it back? There was only one copy. <laughs> and it's already ruined. And then I found out another really shitty thing whenever I got it home was that somebody scribbled a fucking T on it. Why the fuck would you open it up, take the insert out, and write a T on it? 
I, I, fuck it. It, it's just annoying, and it's something that doesn't ever seem to ever get rectified. They just continue to keep doing it. Nowadays, they're a tad, tad, tad bit better about it, because on the spines they have the sticker there, but it's connected to the little plastic thing that it was printed out on. That's a lot better. Just comes right off, but. The other 50-some stickers that they have on there, two of which I'm holding, they don't always come off that easy. It's just a pain in the ass. So, this is pretty much the conclusion of one of my rants.